All right, make a save. Chapter six complete, or chapter five complete rather, retaking the castle. Alfred, mother is in the back room. She's okay. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you, all of you, for rescuing me. My children, you're safe. What a relief. We have a guest, Mother. Someone came all the way from Lethos to see you. The Divine Dragon? Queen Ev, it's an honor to meet you. I'm so glad that you're all right. I've come here by invitation of Prince Alfred. Just look at you, awake at long last. I am Ev, the Queen of Firenae. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you. The Divine Dragon has come to help our country, Mother. We were just in time to rescue Saline. And get this, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from our ring. A legendary emblem. Oh my, how extraordinary. Thank you sincerely. You have my deepest gratitude. You're welcome. My family is safe because of you. You are blessed with the same powers as your mother. How is Queen Lumera? Oh, she doesn't know. Well, she's... she's gone. My mother passed away. No! That's awful. I'm so sorry. Some intruders entered the castle. They tried to kill me, but she gave her life to protect mine. Oh, how tragic. I'm glad that... That I could spare your children the pain of losing their mother. <sighs> My heart goes out to you. Forgive me. We've only just met, and here I am, laying my grief at your feet. I just wish I could have saved her, too. Divine One, while I cannot take away your sorrow, perhaps I can help you bear it. How? To reunite with her and then lose her so soon. I can only imagine how painful that was. And so sudden, too. For now, allow yourself to grieve, knowing that I grieve with you. Thank you, Queen Ev. Your warmth, your kindness. It's almost like she's here with me. How are you feeling? Better. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Is this all in the space of the same, like, post-battle sequence? No, we shouldn't have dragged you into all this. I'm sorry, Divine One. As am I. Yeah, I was gonna say, it was very sudden to actually go on a journey right afterwards. But if I hadn't left when I did, what might have happened to you, Saline? Or you, Queen Ev? I've got a point. I'm proud to serve people in need, like my mother did. Thank you. Now, the Illusion leader. She said her kingdom released the Fell Dragon. I take it that's why the Corrupted are appearing in Elios again. Now there's no question that the Fell Dragon's after the rings. Which means we need to hurry. Head them off before they can reach the next one. Queen Ev, your country's ring. May I take it? I already have it, though. Of course. The Kingdom of Firenae gives it with love, trust, and gratitude. Thank you very much. There is something you should know, however. My kingdom has another emblem ring in its possession. Say what? What? Since when? Why? There is another ring? Here in Firenae? It was kept secret to avoid conflict. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. For generations, knowledge of this ring has been confined to the monarchs of Firenae. But not you guys. However, now that the Fell Dragon has arisen, it is best to dispel the Shroud of Secrecy. It is commonly thought that the Divine Dragon gave one ring to each country's leader. However, Firenae received a second. Because they're special. The Ring of the Dawn Maiden. Hey, Micaiah! I see. To ensure that no one would find it, the ring was hidden away far from the castle. It rests in a shrine on the Brodian border. Ah, oh, I remember those old ruins. What? You do? Yeah. Mother took me there after father died. She told me to keep the location in mind. At the time, I didn't know why. Now it makes sense. I was preparing you for the day you became king. 
I'll take everyone to the shrine. From there, I can continue on with the Divine Dragon. So, you are leaving, Alfred? Yes. I want to do my part to end this war. With your blessing, Mother, I'm going to help the Divine Dragon bring peace to Elios. Mother, I would like to join as well. Sure, why not just send both of you kids off to war? Alfred. Saline. You have my blessing. I know you will serve the Divine Dragon with honor. Who needs heirs, right? On one condition. Swear to me that you will come back alive. I swear it. I swear it. Thank you very much, Queen Ev. I trust that you will take some time to rest prior to your departure. The journey ahead will be arduous, but know that you are all in my prayers. May good fortune shine upon you. 10,000 gold in military funds. Hmm. Well, that's a nice chunk of change. And yeah, I, I totally missed out on buying certain weapons for people, so. So, hello. Divine one. Please get some rest before you set out. I'll be praying for your safety. <laughs> my mother is safe. Thank you for all you've done for us. You shall have my aid in return. Thank you so much. I feel like I got stronger, you know. Thanks for fighting beside me. Alright. Let's get this item. Doo -doo -doo. Yes. We royal soldiers are all devout followers of the Divine Dragon. It's such an honor to meet you. Sneaky items behind here. So, I haven't figured out what iron ingots are for, but I assume it's like forging weapons, right? Yes. We won't let Lucia get the best of us again. We'll defend, defend Queen A with our lives. So yes. many random soldiers. When the wind blows just right, you can smell the flowers of Flora Mill Town from here. Divine one. I never imagined a humble soldier like me would get be feist, face to face with a divine dragon. Divine one. You're the divine dragon. Thank you for so protecting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. I can't thank you enough, but let me start by taking you to the shrine. Sure. I'd say I made a fair showing of myself. I'll try to do the same next time. You did okay. So. I feel like I really pulled my weight today. It's probably all the weights I've been pulling. Oh, is the number of bond fragments you get based on their performance in the battle? Hi. We must further refine defense to better protect Ferrone Castle from future attack. Yes. I got a little stronger. I'm, I'm starting to seem like a real steward of the dragon. Well, not without a strength growth, you are. Yes. Royal guard has been too light. So we have to fortify defenses. Okay, so. It does seem a bit weird that they give you like these lines of dialogue for generic NPCs and there's nothing really substantial from them. Yes. I'm relieved everything seems okay, my royal soldier friends seem fine. Indeed. And how sad to see this castle become a battlefield, one hopes it's seen the worst of this war by now. Okay. No more items? Yeah, I think we're all good. Wait, hang on, what's this? <laughs> Why do only some NPCs... Why do only some characters have the blue dialogue lines? The blue speech bubbles, rather. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Depart. Ah, it gives, it gives you the choice as well. Well, might as well go back to the Somnial. Um, we've got a couple of things we need to do. Oh, hello. Hey there. You're the Divine Dragon, right? Got a second to talk? Who might you be? Me? I'm a blacksmith. You can call me Kelne. And I am Pinay, a clothier. Pleased to meet you. I'll cut right to it. Our friend Durton wrote us and said he opened a shop at your base. Okay. And, well, we'd like to go there too. We'll be a real help. I can strengthen your weapons. My clothes and accessories won't win you any battles, but they will catch eyes and turn heads. If Durton vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Please. Come along to the Somniel. Really? That's great. You'll be glad to have us around, I promise. Indeed. Thank you, Divine One. Okay, so... Obviously, Blacksmith can do forging. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello. Okay. I think we lost him. <laughs> really? You sure about that, darling? <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. Uh, apologies, ma'am. Those guys were tougher than they looked. 
But I, I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Saline ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? She's gonna figure that out herself. What do you say? How about we call it even this time around? I won't let you down again. Oh. How naive you are. After you fail me once. There is no second chance. No! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Yeah, no mercy. <laughs> Hello? I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. And our failure to acquire the ring. I was expecting to get at least one. At least now we know that Lumera is dead. Yes, but there's another divine dragon to take her place. I can't believe that Beast had a child. It does explain why she was so willing to sacrifice her life. What should we do? The battle at Lethos Castle took its toll. We're in no shape for another confrontation. We'd best lie low for a spell. Leave them be, for now. Understood. That's the kind of thing I would have expected before the next chapter, not going back to the Somnial. Because obviously it makes sense, well, that's kind of like a post-battle thing. I, I guess I don't really know where the best place to do it would be, but I would expect it to be once you've gone back here. Yeah. As you raise the bond level between emblems and units, you unlock bond conversations. Watch available bond conversations while on the Somnial or exploring the world map. Once you view a bond conversation, you will be able to increase the bond level even further. So I think we already did that, right? <laughs> uh, okay, that's the same as before, actually. Okay. Uh, I think I saw that the arena is open. So what does the arena do? Because obviously there's no tournaments, there's no permadeath. Well, I guess there's no permadeath. I'm not, I'm not sure, actually. Training Sigil. In the arena, you can have allies train to an experience and raise bond levels. In standard training, an ally you choose will spar with another ally. It costs nothing, but you can only do it a few times between battles. Emblem training increases the bond between an ally and an emblem. It costs bond fragments, but you can do it as much as you like. So, standard training. Okay. So, I can just choose anyone who's, like, low level. So, for example, Boucheron's level 5, and Fran's level 5, and Clan's level 5? Okay. Uh, so, let's choose me. How much XP do you get? I'll be your opponent. I have been waiting for this. Okay. No! Do I have to win the battle? You're as strong as I expected. Loss. No, but I, I still get the XP. Okay. Okay, we got more than three levels. Conversation is now available. Uh, Alright, let's try clan. I assume the, the ally you, you fight against is random. This should be a fun workout. Although, to be fair, this ranged against ranged. Get ready for the oh, she crit me? <laughs> Lost. Oh, hang on. Right. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can do a fight that we're actually going to win. Uh, let's try Saline. Who is she going to fight against? Shall we have a cup of tea afterward? I'm Celica. It's my pleasure. Oh, okay. Well, I'm certainly not going to win this fight. Do I only get 10 XP for a loss? Yeah, okay. So if you win the fight, you get more XP. Hmm? For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, 
I am lost for words. I know what you mean. But we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. Huh? Oh. Oh, right. It's... Was that an in, like, an immediate bond conversation? All right, well, emblem stuff. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll go for Moth? Oh, you can just spend the bond fragments to do it. Okay. Hmm, all right. So it seems like bond fragments is kind of the... Uh, the resource to grind for if we we're going to do that. Inherit skills. Again, I haven't cost any, I haven't used any SP to do this, so. I think we'll save inheritance skills for another time. But yeah, okay. I wonder if there's a thing you can do to save Scum the arena and be like, right, those guys lost their battles, restart, and then we'll try again with different people and they'll win theirs. Or whether it actually is randomized between each battle and that you can do. Like, for example, I did Vander against myself. What if the next time I choose it, it's Vander against Fram? Okay, alright, so that's how the arena works. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the blacksmith. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, of course, a clothier will deal with jewellery, which is literally rings. Pretty Pebble. Smithy. Welcome, welcome. So, Here's how the smithy works. trade materials and gold to strengthen your weapons at the smithy, improve or upgrade your weapons by refining and engraving them. Alter a weapon by engraving it with the power of an emblem. Each emblem can be applied to one weapon at a time. You can also exchange one type of refining material for another. So, refine... So let's take a slim sword, for example. It's a light axe. Ah, so this is where iron ingots is coming in handy. It costs gold as well. But, yeah, and then you can convert it into different things. So that's seven... Hmm, okay. So 80 iron ingots, 10 steel ingots, 20 silver ingots. But I think that's a bonus from a previous thing. All right. And you can actually upgrade the unique weapons as well. I mean, you only get, what, plus two might for it compared to... Let's, let's take silver lance. Yeah, you do get like reduce reductions in weight and accuracy as well. And if you're trying to keep a, a tab on things like... So this is a Slim Lance 4, but it only has... It only gets Might upgrades at plus 1 and plus 3. And plus 5. So you're actually better off waiting until you hit those benchmarks. And then same thing for Liberation, I'm assuming. Okay, so... Wait, it goes from 6 to 9? That's pretty good. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the best usage of this upgrading stuff would be. Because I can convert things into different weapons. And it's unknown whether I do. What does it turn into? I wonder if I have to do a refinement once to figure out what it is. I can upgrade the tomes as well. Okay. Yeah. I think we'll probably leave off refining stuff. Engraving, is that just changing the name? No, it's engraving the emblem. Okay. So, engraving costs bond fragments. Uh-huh. Oh, 80 dodge. Hmm. Hang on, what's the difference between avoid and dodge? Alright, let's take liberation, for example. Huh. So, just overall better stuff here. Hmm. 
50 dodges. So you can actually build towards, like, I'm going to make someone with a dodge tank to, you know, avoid every single hit. And nobody's using Falk Vanga. Okay, and then exchange, you can swap stuff out. Yeah. I'll be here. Okay. And then the boutique. Thank you. So home now, to the boutique. the boutique. Trade materials and gold for clothing and accessories to wear around the Somnial. Once made, most accessories can be worn by anyone. As the story progresses, more items will become available. Hey, swimsuit outfits, because why not? So, Diviner Tower, Sunlit Set, just a commoner set, there's two versions to it, and then the Noble Set, and the Stark Set. Okay, so yeah, you can totally decide, I want to dress up everyone in fancy clothes, and I'm going to grind to do this, to get the resources to do it. Alright. Uh, to be fair, I kind of like the looks of most of these guys just the base look, you know? It's very casual. Yeah. Be well. Okay, so it's entirely cosmetic, that. Which makes sense. But yeah. Okay, so what was over here again? There's a thing to interact with? Uh huh. A pedestal for oh, it's the amiibo gazebo. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I do have a, an amiibo here. You can scan amiibo to earn items and rewards. You will receive special rewards when you scan a fire emblem amiibo. Five out of five scans. So let's try. I have a very trusty Corin amiibo. Fashion tickets. Music ticket. Okay, so that's the special rewards. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't think I've got any more amiibo in reaching distance. So, uh, oh, it's twenty. F it's a daily basis thing. Actually, no, it's twenty-three hours after doing an amiibo. So it's not even like a at midnight it changes over kind of thing. So outfits. <laughs> I see. Not available to this unit. So is Celica stuff? Oh yeah, I can see that. Huh. Oh, only the Lords can do it. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. I do kind of like the Celica one for... For Celine, sure, why not? I can't use the fashion tickets for anything else, right? Sure, we'll get this one. So, all right, so you can scan your Fire Emblem amiibo for these outfits and song tickets. I assume normal amiibo will just give you like potatoes and berries and so on. Alright, so that's the Amiibo Gazebo. 